Welcome to another installment of Fighting for the Faith. My name is Chris Roseboro. I am your servant in Jesus Christ. This is the channel that compares what people are saying in the name of God to the Word of God. Now, from time to time, we do this thing here at uh, Fighting for the Faith, which means only one thing. It's time for Promise It Makes No And what we're going to do today here, in fact, let me uh, pull up my... Uh, my my thing here. Hello, uh, Bezel T3 is our special guest today. Good to have you on, sir. Greetings, Chris and Josh. Happy to be here. Yeah, love your work. Love your channel. T tell us a little bit about your channel and uh, and you, you you do some discernment work as well. How, how's it going on your on your end of the of the vineyard? You know what? I just I keep pumping them out and people keep tuning in. Started yeah. about, you know, 13 years ago. I, I actually did it on MySpace to begin with. And it was kind of this <laughs> coming of coming of age of 50 that I thought, you know, I'll take stock, maybe share some thoughts of mm -hmm. what uh, what I'm thinking as I turn the big five oh. And at that time, um, I happened to discover Joel Osteen. Oh, and no. so he was really the impetus for uh -huh. my discernment ministry. Got and, it. Uh, it kind of started very small in my bedroom, uh, very embarrassing videos as I go back and look at the archives. But uh, <laughs> I just kept going, got shut down once for copyright uh, yeah. infringement, and then started up again and have learned. And, and now, of course, people want to make money off of anything you do. So I don't monetize. And so I'm, I'm pretty safe most of the time. I think... Um, who was it that shut me down last time? Um, oh gosh, I can't remember his name. It escapes me. You'll, but, you'll, uh, you'll think about it, and it'll come to you during our bingo time. I will. I will. So, uh, but anyways, I've been I've been doing this as um, kind of just a ministry, uh, a way that I can share the gospel and um, and go after error and try to help people understand what it is that the the Bible actually says and. Right. Uh, and, and I want to tell you, you've been you've been a great encouragement and a great motivator to me over the years. As I mentioned to you before, I used to listen to you back in the day um, wow. from your podcast as I was, you know, a younger man working out. And that's what I would do as I was working out. Instead of listening to, you know, thump, thump music, I, I'd be listening to Chris Rosebro. <laughs> you know, we, we, a long time ago, we did the podcast, we, we did some audio like warnings. And uh, and we and from time to time I would warn people you need you need to be careful while listening to Fighting for the Faith if you're working out you, you know especially if you're lifting weights and you don't have a spotter you could be dead you know so yes yes yeah that and watching strobes on TV right yeah that that same effect uh, <laughs> all right let's let's uh let's talk about uh prophecy bingo shall we i this is my card for this uh particular installment i i make no prophetic predictions regarding whether or not i will win i can prophesy accurately 100 percent, and say i will cheat uh, this is most certainly true <laughs> Um, but all of that being said, uh, uh, Bessel, you um, this is your first time doing this, although I remember sending you some links to kind of expose you to the concept. Now we've added a, we've added a new feature here. And that is is that now you do know that if you get bingo, you have to prophesy using uh, the words uh, the, the words but uh we we've added a new feature and that is is that if you like you can add a minstrel to uh to help you with the uh with the prophesying josh can you give us a, a taste of that new feature oh nice <laughs> play ball nice. yeah <laughs> Now, is crooning allowed? Uh, is is uh, is a little bit of uh, you know musical accompaniment uh, with that? Is that allowed? Oh yeah, because I I can bust a tune from time to time, you know. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see I, what we, happens. We we want to hear your hidden talents. So you know. Yep. All right, all right. So if real I feel quick. the spirit move. That's that's how we're gonna go. Welcome right. to the Bezel T3 Lounge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the spirit is moving. He's had his Metamucil hey, hey, for the day. Know, if, if Ken Copeland can do it, so can I. There we go. In fact, I'm glad you mentioned Ken Copeland because he's on deck today. So, you know, you, you know, oh. it's, and his, wow. his 2022, pro, his 2022 prophecy is so weird. Anyway. All right. So en enough of this, enough of this. It's time to kind of to ease into these. And I have to warn you ahead of time. 
Um, if you are allergic to screaming, that uh, uh, Cindy Jacobs will be making more than one appearance today. Uh, uh, oh, that's <laughs> See, so good. I'm, yeah. I'm working on a Cindy Jacobs for this Saturday. <laughs> yeah. The stars, the stars are aligning. Right. You see, uh, it, yeah, I feel a download. OK, so we're going to start easy. We're going to start easy. So we're going to head over to the Watchmen on the Wall YouTube channel and the word of the Lord for 2022 powerful prophetic encouragement from Madeline James. And this guy just reads these out so we won't see any lips moving. I thought we could ease into our prophecy time together. Here we go. This prophetic word comes from Madeline James, Lexington, Kentucky. The word of the Lord for 2022. As we step into 2022. Step, step into. In, that oh, is a. Oh. Ah, I got it. Uh. I got it. First blood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do not. Oh, I know. Okay, let's keep going here. There is a greater acceleration and advancement. Ah, I got that. Ex acceleration right and advancement ah. are prophecy. But man, we, 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 we're Ooh. not even like in Boom. the. Boom. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's like the beginning of the year. We have we don't have to fill the quota yet. <laughs> I, I didn't realize how good this one would be. This is a machine gun prophecy wow. here. Okay, let's let's, uh, go. let's keep going here. Being released over God's people. Release. Release. Where there has Release. been a spirit of delay and a great contending for the promises of God over the last two years, the Lord is releasing a quickening grace. Where the enemy has tried to mess with the times and the seasons. Seasons. <laughs> We're off to the races. enemy. Wait a minute. He said enemy, right? <laughs> yes, he Boom. did. Okay. Like, wow. I'm, I'm okay. definitely on the board now. All Woo! right. Okay. All right. So, okay. Let's <laughs> just keep, keep going here. I, I, so far, I I've have got, release. Like, I have release on my card. <laughs> <laughs> I have to work uh, this out here. God is redeeming the time that has felt lost or delayed. What would take 10 years will take two. What well, we take 20 years, we'll take five. Oh, no. If you were hoping to, re you know, <laughs> that you'd be able to travel. stay. Yeah, you'd be able to stay in your job for, you know, more than 10 years. No, sorry, it's only going to be five, you know, so. Uh, I, hate, I hate to break it to you, but your current diagnosis, while you would have usually 20 years to live, you now have five. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it's not working well for me. Okay, no. let's keep going here. There will be a double honor. Double is a prophecy oh. bingo word. And you Double, will I got it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. <Okay. laughs> hey. I feel like you feel like you're in the race for blackout bingo this time, Josh. You know? Yeah, I got a good card. <laughs> okay. All right. That's a double portion of what the enemy had to forfeit. That's yours, Isaiah 61. You are coming into a time where you are going to step into the promises of God. Where many have been heartsick because of delay and hope deferred, you're going to experience fulfillment. <laughs> One of the things I've noticed about these bezel is that um, th these are like I call them prophetic onesies. These are one size fits all, you know, you know, and they yes. kind of can mean anything. I mean, <laughs> have, yes. you, have you covered some of these wackerdoodle type prophets on your channel? There are time to time I go after people that I have never heard of before and uh -huh. and just am amazed at, at what I can find. I call them generic prophecies, prophecies for the common man, because <laughs> they're very, very nonspecific. They could yes. be for this guy or this gal, and, uh, and they really don't tell you much. You have to kind of fill in the blanks. Yeah, that that's kind of the point, and it, you know, and, and it can mean pretty much anything. This is uh, kind of like Gumby and Pokey, you know. You can just you know <laughs> bend them into anything. Here, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna move forward here now. Je this is Jeremiah Johnson, and we will be uh, tuning into the Terminal 2022 uh, conference a few times. And if you remember, uh, what was that? Terminal. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's never a good thing. <laughs> you know, you got you got terminal diseases, you got terminal velocity. You don't want either of those things. No, no, you know. And uh, <laughs> you know, is the charismatic movement going to live? Well, it's terminal. It's terminal. It's terminal. So, it's terminal. So now, if you remember uh, Jeremiah Johnson, he gave a Trump prophecy that you know Trump was going to win the election. It didn't happen. Oh, he ended God. up apologizing, 
And uh, and w- w- this is kind of an interesting thing. I was talking with Steve Kozar the other day. He he's done some research and noticed that like Kenneth Copeland's Victory Channel and and Hank Kuhneman's channel, they've started dumping all of their Trump prophecies. They're no longer uh, available uh, online, and they're all just whooshing away. And so, uh, <laughs> uh-huh. into the <laughs> cornfield. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So they're they're no they're no longer available in the archives. So they've been memory holed. <laughs> right. Right. And so they just kind of count on you know on these charismatics being like goldfish, not remembering anything past like two minutes ago. So. All right. Let's check in with the Terminal 2022 conference. This will be our first look at their so-called prophecies. Here. Asked me, hey, would you come to my conference? And I said, well, I've actually got a conference going on those same dates <laughs> what does that say god is releasing the queen of sheba in 2022 has she been in prison oh. you know <laughs> oh goodness sakes out of purgatory with you <laughs> yeah she they're gonna put her in a halfway house in Reseda, you know and <laughs> you're under witness protection <laughs> Wow. So I bring you greetings from about just 20 minutes north of here, where our headquarters are, the Altar Global. So I preached at that conference last night. There's not a morning session, thank God. So I'm here with you this morning, and then we'll be back there tonight. And then I'll be uh, preaching at the it. North Georgia Revival over in Dawsonville tomorrow night. But By the way, he said the word revival. Revival is a prophecy. Bingo buzzword. Uh, when Alan one, Bezel. All right. The revival. All okay. right. Called me nope. and kind of gave me a, a vision for this. I had a dream in September of dream is a word. Dream is a word. Yeah. That I wasn't really sure what to do with. And I know sometimes in the social media digital age, you just kind of have a word and you pop it off the next day online. And part of my prophetic journey has been learning how to sit on and pray and fast through and to kind of sometimes the prophetic comes and you need an arm and a leg. You need more clarity we need <laughs> i don't recall any of the uh, any of the biblical prophets ever behaving in this manner uh, you know no. you know I, I i need to kind of sit on it you know i i always come back to the story of balaam you know uh this is a yeah. guy who was the prophet for prophet and uh and he, you know he was hired to curse israel and jesus shows up you know the angel of yahweh and and basically threatens him with his head to be cut off his neck if he if he dares speak an, uh, any word other than what God gives him, and he speaks only yep. the words that God gives him. Yes. And it, he doesn't have to go to school. He doesn't get a prophetic activation. He doesn't have to sit on it for a little while, you know. Yeah. 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 All right. Now, uh, yeah, since arm I'm and a leg. an arm, and, I've heard of things costing an arm and a leg, and I've yeah. heard of people talking about the head and the tail, mm-hmm. but ne- never, never, never together. So he, he hasn't talked about the head and the tail yet. That may be uh, coming. Uh, so you're, this is your prophetic prediction for this prophecy. It may be coming. <laughs> okay. Now I, I'm feeling I, I'm feeling a little depressed about how far behind I am with you guys. So. I'm going to do this while I can. There, I've taken my, <laughs> my oh, sneaky squids. Okay. I'm feeling just, good there, right. guys. You just got to decree right. and declare a win. Mm-hmm. All right, let's keep going. I'm feeling terminal Go here. It. We need less spontaneous prophecy and more revelatory prophecy. Right? We need less cock. <laughs> We need more prophets that actually pan out instead of the ones that are just content. We need less false prophets and those who are blaspheming God's name, and uh, and you know, and get back to the real prophets found in the Word of God. You know. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's keep going here. Candy and lollipops, and we need more meat and vegetables. And so, I really was kind of trembling at the. so revelatory prophecy is meat and vegetables and spontaneous prophecies are lollipops. Mm-hmm. Okay. I prefer gummy bears, actually. Go ahead. 
I can't blame you for that. Cannot blame you. So, all right. <laughs> dream that I had, not really sure. I knew I wasn't supposed to put it online, but I was like, Lord, if you'll open up the right event or the right opportunity, I'll be faithful to deliver uh, what you revealed to me in the night season. And so when Alan called and said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord please just give me an actual real prophecy i'll be really good i swear <laughs> okay you, you, with this much lead in i can't wait to actually hear the word you know okay yeah. it's build up <sighs> january 1st 2022 10 a.m i thought yes lord on the first day of a new year i'm going to deliver this message so this graphic is very prophetic. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Terminal is the word. How? How is a graphic prophetic? I don't understand. I I don't know. Is that a, a, a top down shot of the Dubai airport? What is that? You know, it is. You know, <laughs> it is. Uh, uh, Dubai those might be LAX. Boeing's. I can't tell. Yeah, yeah. It, it. I've I've. So on my Apple TV, uh, there's a there's a, one of you know, when when it goes to like screensaver mode, you, it does a flyover of the Dubai airport. It looks just like it. You know. Huh. Huh. All right. You're just saying okay. all airports look alike, but you know this. This is there. It is that. That's prophetic. Isn't yeah. that funny? I I'm in the aviation industry, and I did not I did not think about terminal as an mm -hmm. airport terminal. You know, wasn't there a movie <laughs> terminal? Yes, wasn't yes, there a movie there terminal is. with uh, yes. Tom Hanks, and he lived there for a while. Yeah, yeah, based on a true story too. You know, <laughs> yes. so. he took up residence at a terminal. Okay, uh, I think I'm going. starting to get it. All I right. think I'm starting I, to get it. Yeah, I, this, so, this you, is quickly because stopping being terminal. This is going to turn into Sully. <laughs> <laughs> Much better movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm in agreement. Okay. For what I'm going to talk with you about, you know, at a terminal, at an airport, those of us who travel frequently, who likes uh, airport watching? You get in there and there's just so many different folks out there. There's so many different nations. You know, there's so many different types of people at an airport. All right, he's just dragging his <laughs> prophetic feet here. I'm gonna, he I'm gonna bump up the speed of just a smidge. Please so do. We, we can help him a little bit. Airport, here. and I truly believe that the body of Christ is entering into a new era where there is about to be a mass convergence of streams. And <laughs> You're not supposed to converge the streams, man. That's bad. Oh, never cross the streams. The streams. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Tell him about the Twinkie. <laughs> oh no, 2022 Zool's making an appearance. Good night. Okay. It was a previous oh, year. <laughs> Uh, and generations and ethnicities and just like at a terminal you could show up at one gate and you've got a whole different crew of people you go to the next gate and they're headed toward a different uh, a destination god is birthing new movement birthing <laughs> birthing <laughs> and movements are prophecy bingo words and i'm bummed it's not on my card yeah, me too. Me too. I, I have never been comfortable when you know one of these so-called prophets says that the lord is going to have you be birthing something it's like yeah i'm a dude yeah, um, no, you know, I, you know no. it, it ain't happening. So. Kidney Very stone annoying. <laughs> yeah, I birthed a kidney stone. That hurt like. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so. don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts to, just to think about. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, it's a, it's a painful memory for oh. sure. You know. Oh. You know, okay. In the earth, God is raising up uh, emerging leaders in the earth. God has in generations past done that, but we have a real opportunity to try to work together. Okay. On what? <laughs> God is raising up birthing new movement thingies. To go you know. to different terminals. Oh, yeah. I miss, Sorry, I right? missed my prophetic okay. flight. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you did not beat your connection flight. Your layover time yes. was not sufficient, and now you've lost your luggage. <laughs> <laughs> and the oh. Starbucks just closed. Oh, <laughs> man, I hate ah, no. when that happens. Hate when that happens. See. And you're required to make Know that that's hard in America because we can't even be friends with people that didn't vote for our candidate. There's so much vitriol. There's so much hatred. There's so much division. There's so much need to be right. There's so much need to have the final say, a willingness to bring division between family members for years over politics. 
And I believe that God is coming in this year to begin to put his finger on a critical spirit. Yes. <sighs> critical spirit. Oh, Bezel, you you have one of those, don't you? I, I mean, I, I get accused of it all the time. I do. So. It's always in my pocket during every video I do. And right, I, yes. I take it out only when needed. Right, right. Right? Exactly. But that's a bad thing. Now, we're going <clears> to... <throat> All right, so um, <laughs> hang on to your hats. This is uh, Cindy Jacobs at <laughs> Glory of Zion. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come Talk on. about... Let there be some dancing. If there's some dancing, I got it on my card. Come on. This this could be a crossing of the streams here. I'm just saying. So here we go. The other word, and let me prophesy this over this house. This is what the Lord showed me, Chuck, and over you personally. The Lord says, this is a year of multiplication for you. The Lord said. What if you're trying to lose weight? That would be bad. You know. No. That would be really bad. So. The cells are multiplying. Oh, wait, oh, no. no. I, that, I only have five years to live now. Right. No, if, they, if that multiplication gets out of control, oh, you're, you're going to end up in hospice, you know? So. Oh, man. Yes, this is a year I'm going to give you such favor. Favor. Favor is a prophecy bingo word. The enemy has come in like a flood, but God says you will not be diminished. You will not be diminished. Okay, that, that counts as yelling, right? Yes, yes, yes. That is yelling for sure. See, ding, I, yay. He's on the <laughs> She's board. a consonant yeller. Okay. Y yes, and, and note that Chuck Pierce is down here in the right in the right corner, going, "Oh, I'm receiving this." You know, <laughs> she ain't saying anything though. Yeah. All right. All right. In any wise, and the Lord says, because you are a pathfinder for others, and so the Lord says to you, "Get ready. I'm going to give you favor, not only with this area, but the city of Dallas." And the Lord says, "You're going to be in the news." I'm going to make you in the news. That could be a bad thing. <laughs> could be a very bad thing. Yeah. You don't want to be, be famous for the wrong reasons. That's right. That's right. And uh, uh, you remember when he tuned the Mexican border with a uh, tuning fork? Yep. So, I forget that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring the southern border into alignment. Ting. Ding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I missed that. Oh, it, it's uh, in the archives of our YouTube channel. It's, uh, it's crazy. Check it out. I'll yeah. check it out. Uh huh. All right, let's keep going. Here. In a good way, in glory of Zion, and the Lord says you will be known as a city and a place of innovation, says the Lord. And the Lord says, I'm releasing that innovative, creative anointing, and it's going to stay. Anointing is a prophecy anointing. bingo yeah. word. Yeah. Last time I checked, oh, yeah, innovation I within the church was a bad thing. Yeah, you're not supposed to innovate. It, isn't it supposed to be the faith once delivered to the saints? Yes. Yeah. yeah yes, just, it you know, is. Yeah, just Christi saying. Christianity 2.0 hasn't come out, and it's never gonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And not only to the arts, but to finance, and the Lord. Okay, hang on one second. I, okay, so what is that underneath this? Oh. They've got cartons of milk oh, there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Ew. Or, or the <laughs> Pepperidge Farm cookies. I'm not sure what. I don't know. Are those? Do they do, like, donations in those things where, like, they pass them around and put, like, coins and, like, this, stuff? So this is the pulpit. Now, so here's a little bit yeah. of it. No, you know, I preach, and, you know, I've got a pulpit, and, you know, I keep a bottle of water and some tissue just in case I'm, you know, I need to sneeze mm -hmm. or need, need some, mm -hmm. some to drink. But I could never imagine drinking milk. <laughs> they can't be it can't be milk that, that that looks like milk i know i know what it looks like i'm just thinking like you know under the hot lights and stuff like that that stuff would curdle so fast <laughs> yeah yeah we are so off topic <laughs> this is your fault <laughs> i blame me uh, good it was a good call it was a very good call you know in aviation you gotta have the eye for detail so right exactly yeah, I the, the props. yeah. I'm just saying the pulpit checklist isn't working here. You know, so something's <laughs> off. So, something's right. gooey. Yeah, let's keep at this though. Here. Lord says, whoa, "Whoa, there's something." Oh, Chuck, there's something on this. You are gonna be part 
of the technology revolution, says the Lord. Uh, really? Okay. Okay. There is a coming technology revolution. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's, okay. It's coming. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Hasn't that been like going on our entire uh, yeah. life? Like Chuck the last, Pierce is a yeah, total especially boomer. <laughs> Yeah. I, I would doubt um, that Chuck Pierce would know how to open a PDF file. <laughs> hey, 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 Brian, do you, you you remember those first black LCD calculators and how expensive they were? Oh, man, Texas Instruments. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah, I knew you would because you look about as old as I am. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we could yeah. we could go back. We could go yeah. back a ways. Yeah, I I remember the Apple II, you know, and then the Apple II C. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah Two fifty six. Yeah, Pentiums. that's right. That's right. My first computer was a Macintosh five twelve K E. The E oh, meant that it was a double sided floppy disk drive. <laughs> that's you can... wild. <laughs> oh. Oh, I had such great memories. Of, have such great memories of, of golf, you know, on the Mac, the golfing game. Yeah, and the simulator, one of the first flight oh, simulator yeah. games on the Mac. Oh, it was it was fantastic. And then I <laughs> was it Dark Castle. I for, you know one of the it's just a really silly game. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. well, but Chuck Pierce, he's gonna be part of the technology revolution that's coming and he's not even capable of speaking lucid sentences <laughs> let alone coding okay uh, <laughs> could you imagine like prophetic coders you know uh, we're gonna write a computer program all by the holy spirit <laughs> you know <laughs> it's a random word generator that you made <laughs> <laughs> all right continuing on here and they're losing their minds yay chuck pierce is gonna yeah. be part of the technology yeah. revolution and I am going to bring those around you that are economic reformers, and they're going to understand cryptocurrency and blockchain. <laughs> I have no oh. idea what I'm talking about. These are just words that my handlers told me so, to say. So now, now the Holy Spirit is telling you to get into crypto. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah well. Okay. And the metaverse says the Lord. And the, and the metaverse, really? The Lord says, watch and see what I am going to do. For there is great wealth I'm getting ready to unlock. And you are going to understand it. And the Lord says, call those around you, says the Lord. For even in this house. You know, Kozar worked it out. This guy makes about $800,000 a year. Dang. Say, saying nothing. Like, <laughs> Does he write books? <laughs> How could he? He never speaks anything lucidly, you know. <laughs> Ghostwriters are a thing. <laughs> yeah. In fact, let, let's hang on. Here's the yeah. enough uh, is enough prophecy. This this will help us out. Uh, did you kind of make the point here. Right now, you need to dancing. stop dancing. for a moment and look straight. What was that, Josh? Dancing. I'm putting dancing. dancing. On. Yeah, that, that works. Yeah. Okay. Was he dancing? I yeah, that, I'm sorry. Yeah, just, just I'm, I'm taking, uh, taking dancing. Yeah, take it. up to the Lord and say, "Define my portion." Say it out loud. Portion, portion is a prophecy bingo word. God says, yeah. "Define my portion." Define my portion. See within those boundaries. That's yours. And when the enemy comes in with an upper hand in your boundaries, you have to learn to break down his scheme and take back everything that he has taken and is holding captive. Say, define my boundaries. <laughs> have you defined your boundaries yet, Brian? Oh, man, I'm telling you. I don't go much farther out of the, you know, I've got kind of a, a five mile radius of activity yeah. in my life right now. The, the, the airport was right down the street, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, yeah, I, I had kind of undefined boundaries, but, uh, yeah. but I stayed within them. Yeah. That, yeah. That, 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 your, that, that's good. That's good. What was your yeah. flight ceiling at? Yeah. Well, mine, you know, it varies. The, the aircraft, it could go 40, actually 51,000 was the highest, but you, you'd never save much fuel that way. So, uh, but 51 is pretty high, you know, mm -hmm. 
that's no joke. That, Your useful pretty- time of consciousness, if you lose, if, if you lose cabin pressure, is about 0.2 seconds at 51,000 feet. That's not a lot. That's not a lot of time to put the mask on. <laughs> yeah, it's no joke. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. being very serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even at I, 45, you, you don't really understand. You know the the rarefied air in which we travel, and even at 35,000, it's not mm. much time if the pilots aren't all over it. So uh, that yeah. should give you some comfort next time you get on American or Southwest. I I appreciate you giving me nightmares now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, let's keep going. This is a three minute and 44 second long prophecy. We, there's okay. more to this. Here. Now, Father, I loose a new anointing of anointing. restoration. Up- He's got yeah. you got anointing. Yeah. Anointing. We've, I, we've already had those already. So okay. upon us. I decree we will. Oh, he's decreeing. Hang on a second here. I'm, oh, I'm on the board with another Boom. one. Boom. Decree. Got to do my prophecy, uh, you know, shimmy here. Yes, it's, there we go. Okay. okay. You got right. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let's come back. See our boundaries restored in a new way this year. That sad music in the background, by the way. Yeah, that is sappy. If music you're calling right it sappy, I was on the fence. I'm going with it. I'll yeah, take sappy it, music. Yeah, it's as sappy as it gets. Yeah. Two weeks ago, maybe three, Maria had a tongue in this Judas circle before uh, worship one Sunday morning. And she was just groaning in intercession, and I heard everything in English. And the Lord was saying, enough is enough. Enough is enough. He said, draw a line in the sand. Set the boundary, and I will dismantle the structure. <laughs> dismantle the structure. Sounds like she wants to talk to the help. manager. Help me, help me, Chris. I don't really I, I, understand that. I don't. I no. I, I I don't even think she has the proper permits for this. You know. So usually, <laughs> when you dismantle a structure, you use an implosion, which requires explosives. So yeah, we're not, they're not zoned for that at the moment. No, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, this, the, the wealth thingy, you know, crypto. So there. Our part was to hear him say, I'm saying enough. This is enough, enough, enough. <laughs> and the second thing was that we had to draw a line and say, okay, I'm in agreement and on the earth, this is the boundary line. This is it. I still have no clue what she's saying. <laughs> okay, moving along. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Triple Grace 555. All right. Okay. Let's. And he's down uh, here in the bottom left corner. And I hope you know how to s- understand English through a thick German or Austrian accent. Here we go. Welcome, powerful warriors. Welcome to the end time prophetic word. And the end time prophetic word for Thursday, the 6th of January 2022, is I am doing a new thing. <laughs> new, th- new think. I'm doing a new think. think. Uh, okay. yeah, so uh, if you have new thing on your card, that is a prophecy. Bingo I have word. something on my card, but not new thing. Yeah, this is a new think. So, ah. you know. I'm standing at your door and proclaim the new thing that I am about to do through my messengers and voices. But the majority of my children are not listening. <laughs> You know what oh, I you know what no. I sell somebody if they're at my door and they want to come in? No. Get a get a warrant. <laughs> <laughs> they're not listening. Do you, do you introduce them to your friends? Do you introduce them to your friend Smith and Wesson? <laughs> <laughs> I, I only have, I don't have two friends, Smith or Weston. I just have Glock, so you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Glock for this guy, right? Yeah, I mean, right. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. That works. That works. They do not believe my words and my revelations. That's because nobody can understand a word you're saying. <laughs> don't you see that I am giving you heavenly manna? The truth is laid in front of your feet ready for you to pick it up and to run with it. To be spread as light into all dark corners of the world. 
but it gets rejected in my churches and with most of my creation. For them it seems so impossible, so outlandish, that they cannot believe it. Nevertheless, it is the truth of the new thing that I am about to do, to stand with my kingdom in this paradigm shift. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Shift is... <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> Just... Oh, the yeah. waterfall I, of pseudo profundities is upon us. Yeah. Why don't we head back to uh, Terminal and uh, uh, Lou Engel? And uh, this one has me scratching my head, but uh, let's let's listen in. Um, uh, in the dream, I was the president of the United States. <laughs> now, you got to know that now that this is uh, symbolic. <laughs> uh, well, by the way, what You're not that? really the president of the United States, right? No, it's, he's it's, not really it, the president. Of it's it's, a, it's in his dream, and you're gonna note his shtick is he constantly rocks back and forth. That's apparent a manifestation proof that the you know the Holy yes. Spirit is on him. It's a it's a deep unction thingy, you know. It's so, not, yes. yeah, and, of, you know, and I, I've also, seen video. It's also good for the lumbar. Right. Yeah. It's it's a lower back support exercise thing. Exactly. It works the core, you know. So. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. If you don't know who I am, I rock. I've I've been doing it for I, I've been doing it for you know sixty nine years. <laughs> Something's wrong here, but uh, actually the Lord. I want to rock. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're showing your age there, uh, <laughs> I know. I know. I know. man. Why do you think I do these goofy intros with all this music? Nobody, nobody knows except people over forty-five. Yeah, well, that's why I'm so comfortable with your channel, sir. You know. <laughs> you know, I was, I, I was thinking that if I had kept up my guitar playing, that you know, I'd be a shoe in for you know ZZ Top by now. So. Oh, but, heck uh, yeah. Uh, alas, no, I have not kept it up. So let's keep going here. <laughs> he spoke to me and he's, uh, at the upper room this past year at a divine moment praying for Israel. And he spoke to me and says, now you know why you've been rocking for 68 years, 69 years. I put you in front of the wailing wall and you did not know it. Oh. That's just wow. weird. Yeah, wow. wow. Okay. That's like Jacob. That's like Jacob. The, the Lord was in this place, and I did not know it. Didn't even know it. He was. He's been in the wailing wall in front of it for all this time. Okay. Hey, uh, we're in some kind of birth canal these days. Oh I no! Should, sorry, no. I should not have no. been drinking. Wow. <laughs> Uh, not un uh, that's uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> let's play, let's play some Queen. Under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, oh man. God, God is looking at Jerusalem. But back to the dream, the dream so you, you've, you know it's got to be symbolic because you see if it's a true dream, <laughs> there would be more confusion uh, 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 than, than Trump and Biden combined. <laughs> in the dream, I was the president of the United States and there was a massive gathering on the mall in Washington, D.C. In the dream, my administration was completely confused. Nobody knew anything, what was going on. They put me on in some... In other words, nothing's changed. So, got it. Okay. <laughs> kind of hot on, <laughs> on the top of a hill above the, uh, above the mall in D.C. I didn't even know who I was sitting with. I, I just knew I was supposed to speak. And finally, the guy comes up to me and says, hey, it's time for you to speak at this gathering. At, at this gathering. And I said, well, I don't know what to say. He says, well, I don't either. <laughs> but uh, you, you're supposed to speak. I got up to that podium at, 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 with this massive gathering on the mall. And in the dream, I didn't know what to say, so I just lifted my hands, and the crowd began chanting, Revival! 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 I believe what God is saying, in the confusion of politics, there is a sound of a coming ruler. <laughs> the sound of a... Chris, Chris, is that like, you know, not knowing what to say when you're the President of the United States, is that like... 
um, being in a dream and you all of a sudden realize you're in a classroom with no clothes on or only I, your yeah, underwear? Is- it, it, yeah, and, and I, I got to tell you, though, I, 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 you're not wrong, that's for sure. Um, he, he ain't saying nothing, and, you know, clearly his prophecy is stuck in the birth canal, but... Uh, <laughs> But I, I, the first time I heard this, it really weirded me out. Let me back this up just a, a smidge. I want you to listen to, again to what he says. I, I believe what God is saying in the confusion of politics, there is a sound of a coming ruler. <laughs> the man of lawlessness? Wow. Yeah, that's wow. what my first thought was. <laughs> we might just have something there. <laughs> <laughs> so 2022 guess what the horror is going to be riding the beast this year and uh <laughs> and there's here a comes the red dragon and there's a 30 percent chance of rain showers later on in the afternoon <laughs> <laughs> that just yeah i i played that just because i oh, why that's I wild this? okay that's wild oh uh, no okay all right, I am going to refrain from saying what comes to my mind at this moment, and let's go with Emma Stark's terminal prophecy. Here we go. I don't know whether you've looked at prophets and thought, you know, I'm never going to be like one of those. I'm never going to hear God. I mean, that revelation stuff, that's for the special. That's for the elite. That's for those who've tapped into some kind of mystical secret. And the Lord is... I was in the charismatic movement, and those were my thoughts regarding the -the glow-in-the-dark people who claim to hear from God, because I never heard his voice, you know. (laughs) Is there a school you have to go to to get those little... You know, short breaths in between each sentence? That that used to be a knack for people that I'm finding it's the same for multiple types of people. Is there a school you go to for that? Yeah, I th- there may be for sure. Uh, I think it's the school of mimicry is, you know, I, I think that's the actual, you know, the proper term for that that school. So, yeah, hang on a wow. second here. I'm going to try fixing that. Saying right now that we are entering a new day where we are going to become a prophetic church. And that means... We're going to become a prophetic church. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 That means that it's not just the prophets who are going to prophesy and hear God, but it is the entire church is going to become a church of revelation. Yeah, Balagna lady. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12 says that not all are prophets, so we can tell this thing is false right on its face. And if everything is prophecy, then nothing, nothing. is prophecy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And that Ugh. means you're about to hear God like you have never heard him before. I hear him every day when I read the scriptures, thanks. That means that the veil between the natural and the spirit realm is about to so disintegrate. Yeah, that's how psychics talk, isn't it? Ah, You know, talking about the thinness of the veil, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this Dutch angle. What is this? (laughs) In filmmaking, in like the terminology within filmmaking, with the language of filmmaking, when the the camera is off kilter like that, it means Uh, something is wrong. I'm I'm feeling out of balance here. (laughs) Help me! (laughs) I'm ready to lose it. Didn't I see this on an episode of Star Trek once, you know, when the Klingons attacked, you know? know. (laughs) Oh, the trouble with Tribbles. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Great episode. Great episode. All right. Let's keep going here. That you have a clarity, that you have open visions, that you have encounters, that you have seer sight gift, that it's... Seer is a prophecy. It's going to come en masse from the youngest to the oldest into the house of God. It is going to change everything. everything. And no longer are we going to live from the wisdom and the logic of man, but we are going to be a people who base our... I got, I got a question for you, uh, Bezel. Have you ever read that book called yep. Proverbs? I have. Yeah. I have. And uh, where does that wisdom come from? 
Yeah, it comes from God, and it comes from people who ask Him with humble hearts. Yeah, I'm going to go with you. And so, like the rest of Scripture, I mean, Paul says it's theanoustos, God breathed. Uh, so when we're reading the scriptures, we're hearing the voice of God. It's living, active, sharper than any double-edged sword, right? right? Um, those, That's right. Yeah, uh, are those who live and have their minds transformed by the Word of God, are they walking in the wisdom of the world or the wisdom of the Spirit? Absolutely, the wisdom of the Spirit. <clears throat> okay. the, every every true born again Christian is a spirit filled Christian. Right. Now exactly. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean that we're popping off with uh, "Thus saith the Lord's every day," because yeah, I, yeah. the Lord has said already. Yeah. It's done. It's, it's finished. Yeah. It's a yep. closed canon. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. yeah. So I. And so already, like, there's certain things she's saying that I can definitively say this contradicts scripture. So. And mm. so, what commandment is being broken when someone says in the name of the Lord, and in fact it doesn't come to pass, or is so? Untrue? Exodus Exodus twenty verse seven: You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Right. Mm, yes. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, and she's deceiving and she's speaking words for God that God hasn't given her. And, you know, I think of the rebukes of Jeremiah, you know, I, I didn't send them yet. They ran. I didn't speak to them yet. They prophesied, you know. Yep. 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 OK, let's let's just endure just a little bit more of this, shall we? Lives on the word of the Lord and live by revelation. And where you are spiritually numb and where you have cursed yourself by saying, I don't don't think I hear him clearly. (laughs) Have you ever cursed yourself that way? I have generational curse. Does that count? No, 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 no. That's not the same thing. If it was a synonymous concept, you know. But, uh, you know, so cursing yourself. So she's a believer in word curses, you know, negative confessions and stuff. (laughs) Okay. You know, I was I, stretching it there. Sorry. Yeah, I, I, although that that's that's flattering. Okay, let's keep going here. <laughs> or I'm not sure that's for me. You are going to have to repent for that cursing word that has put up blockages, and you are going to have to. <laughs> Um, there are some over-the-counter medications that might be able to help with said blockages. Oh, my goodness. So prophetic blockages brought on by word curses that you accidentally spoke over yourself. Uh, I got to keep going. This is a train wreck. Come out of a yep. coffin of not hearing, and you are going to have to remove your grave clothes. <laughs> Take off your grave clothes. You know That means wow. you got to rise first. <laughs> Okay. And be the Take people who was in the pants, or yeah. you don't get no risen yeah. pants. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is no, ridiculous. Say, I know what God sounds like. I hear His voice, and I am part of a church of revelation. Revelation 11 church. Now that is a type of church and a kind of people who are raised up as latter days begin. And it is a church that is modeled on Moses and Elijah. It is a church that speaks with fire in its mouth. It's a church with a renewal of worship. Worship. It's an emergence of prophets and people. <laughs> I don't want to highlight that too much, but wow. I'm going to have to bleep that. (laughs) Okay, moving along. Okay. Hey, Rima. That's on my card. Yeah, Rima is a uh, prophecy bingo word. This is a little more tame. Hang on. This prophetic word comes from Thomas Downs, Rochester, New York. The Lord is causing Rima to meet you. (laughs) Who is she? Yeah, <laughs> I think I went to high school with a Rima. Yeah. <laughs> What's the hourly rate? <laughs> oh man! There is a way. God always has a way. Whatever the promises of God are for you, there is always a way. Whatever your calling is that He has given you, His purpose for you has already. Ooh, hang on, purpose. I got a. I got a word here. You have a purpose? I have a purpose. Yes. Uh, Things are happening here. Okay. (laughs) Let's come back. Oh, wait a second. I went too far. There we go. Let's keep going with Thomas here. You've been drawn as a blueprint where believing his promise of eternal life qualifies you to receive that purpose. All things are possible for those who believe. Direction for your life is imminent. 
It has been prepared for you to receive it. The power of God for your life is imminent as well, for every promise he has given you is the very indicator of his intent to use you as the righteous vessel he created you to be. Therefore, cast not your confidence in the Lord, which is of great recompense of reward. Hebrews 10, 35. <laughs> this wow. guy at least tries to like weave in the you know, words yeah. to make it sound more biblical. Yeah. Just yeah. it's kind of peppered in there. Just kind of like a little yeah. one half verse exactly. here, verse here. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Let's yeah. see here. A, Allow- I call it a blend ear. It's kind of a blend ear. Like yeah. That. Mm-hmm. All right. So Shake this and is- not stirred. Uh, yep. Allow the Lord to win the battle in you. you. You know, have you allowed the Lord to do that yet, Brian? <laughs> no? Oh man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the battle is the Lord's. The battle right. is the Lord's, and yeah. and I'm I'm one of the, I'm one of His foot soldiers. Okay. Yeah. It's his battle. It's His battle, and I'm I'm uh, I'm tr- 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 uh, trudging along every day. Every day. There we go. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's check in here. He's a strong tower. He's a great defender. He's a high tower. That lady swinging a sword. What totally. is she do? What totally. on That's earth? Crazy. He's my shelter. She's got Jedi skills, man. You know, Dude. sequel <laughs> trilogy Jedi skills to be specific. Okay. I run in and I'm safe. I can run to the throne. Is she auditioning for America's Got Talent? What's going massive, on? Massive, massive movement on that stage. <laughs> y- yes. Oh, sometimes the battle, they're not natural, but they're spiritual. Hey, oh, when the doctors don't know what's wrong with you, they can't find it in your blood. They can't find it on a chart. They don't understand because they have. What's wrong? What is wrong with you, lady? Okay. <laughs> this lady just got back from the doctors. It is just yeah. Singing about the experience. Yeah, we don't know what's wrong with you, lady. <laughs> we don't know what's wrong with you. So she's singing about it. Okay. Yeah. Um, when 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 your medical examination every year turns into a prophecy, let's wow. fast forward just yeah. a little Under bit. Under a table, you gotta let him do the work. <laughs> wow, just- silks. <laughs> the silks are flying. <laughs> this just, is where this is where just, high school tall flag girls go to die. Okay, <laughs> just Darth Mauling it. Do 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 do. Do wielding. Oh wow. Which means that we have to get out of our own way. Twenty twenty two. I made God a promise. I will not enter this year and bring that old mess so god what i need you to do i need you to take it on the 31st of december i could see it now glory of zion you know join us online for our new silk workout you know (laughs) (laughs) it's it's, it's cardio yeah it is it is Oh, that is wow. Okay, that is something else. Okay, I I, I want to get to this one, but yeah, all right. Okay. Oh no! What? Oh, what? You, 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 I, I can't skip K Nash. I know you can't. I'm just uh, all right. I mean, where's yeah. my where, where's my Pepsi? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> if you felt like 2021 was a little bit confusing, a little bit chaotic and you kind of felt like you weren't totally walking towards the plans that God gave you. You weren't totally seeing your goals manifest. You kind of felt like Manifest is a prophecy bingo word. Mm-hmm. It was almost like oh, the devil man. was against you. There was confusion being caused. It was one thing, then it was the other thing. The Lord kind of spoke to me about this, and there was a... The Lord kind of spoke to you. <laughs> the, the, the devil might be against you. I, I don't know. He, he might be taking the day off today. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the new revised version of Amos. You know, the Lord sort of spoke to me, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> it might have been my neighbor two doors down. But right. It might have been the Lord. Yeah, it's his you know. dog that's making my lawn yellow. <laughs> yeah, just just a little bit of a note here. And if you open up your refrigerator and the mayonnaise is talking to you, you need to go see somebody. Okay, a professional can help you with this. Okay, and the mayonnaise does not know best. Right. The demon of chaos running amok last year, and it breaks now in Jesus' name. It's time for the church to resurge. Jesus. There's the hey, Jesus. On. There's the oh, Jesus. It's on man. my bingo card. Here we go. Jesus. Yay. I am uh, slowly, slowly, you know, making my way up the, the ladder here. Let's I'm going to share what I'm feeling from the Lord for 2022 in just a minute. All right. I'm going to fast forward. Hi, here. I'm Kay Nash. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm a messenger of the Lord. Wow. No. She, she's no. the missing blues brother. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even. <laughs> I wouldn't even trust her to sell toothbrushes. <laughs> wow. Prophetic I, messenger for the Lord. I deliver prophetic words, financial teachings from the Word of God. Oh, like lady, wow. seriously, I I would not wow. trust you with like a McDonald's gift certificate, and you're gonna get financial <laughs> advice to people. Come on. Uh, uh, I have some preaching on here, some training for ministers, and some teachings in the <laughs> training for ministers. Now that could handy for you, Chris. Okay, <laughs> she might have a word for you. <laughs> for those of you ministers looking to specialize in non-lucid communication, Kate Nash is your lady. So, you know, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kill me that's now. Crazy. <laughs> Word of God that are pretty deep. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We always have new videos coming out. We have over 400 videos for you to look through. So consider <gasps> subscribing. Jesus. All right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what does that mean? Is she asking <laughs> Jesus to subscribe? I, 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 I describe it like, okay, so when in the charismatic movement, like, you know, apparently like the Holy Spirit, like touches you like, like the Pillsbury Doughboy. You remember those commercials? Yes. It, you know, so there she, <laughs> <laughs> it, it just said when, when the Holy Spirit touches her, she goes, eh, Jesus, you know, so. Uh. Okay. All right, you guys, it is 2022. Welcome to the new year. Welcome to the new anointing. Welcome to what God's doing for the new year. I really sense a fire for this year. And I Fire is a prophecy. Bingo word. I really want to jump into this word because it's just kind of been burning in my spirit for a little while now. The Lord spoke to me. Thing. <laughs> Hang in there, Josh. Hang Several there. months ago, and he told me the word for 2022 for the prophetic community, and I'm going to make a differentiation there. You don't have to be a prophet for this word to manifest, but you do have to be part of the prophetic community. So if you don't care about the prophetic, this word might not have anything to do with you. But this word is for the prophetic community, and the word of the Lord is resurge. And to be honest, I didn't fully... Need, <laughs> I, I think we need a resurge protector, you know, put on our church. Yes. You know. I mean, yes. last time I checked, isn't Charlie Delta having a, uh, you know, yes, uh, yes, uh, yeah, Charlie Victor or whatever yeah, having a yeah, resurge? Charlie Victor one niner. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, who's you know, that? <laughs> <laughs> It's the latest fad. Uh, Everyone's getting it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, I, I'm feeling a little Omicron today, you know. Yo, oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't know what that word okay. meant. Um, I heard it in prayer, and I just kind of sat on it. For those of you who got the prophetic calendar, that's coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of you good that's going to do. A prophetic calendar. You know, well, I, yeah, she, she she can f tell ahead of time what, you know, you know what what the whole year is going to look like. I feel like there should be like dark uh, ominous music playing underneath her like No oh, wait, that's not the right instrument. <laughs> yeah, not not up. dark and ominous that's the lower enough. Key. Oh, sorry, yeah, lower key. All right, let's try this. Let's try. Let, let me try this. Hang on. So, I I'm going to hit the play button and you bring it in. Right. Um to you the word on it is resurgence, and I'm going to explain what that means now, and I hope every time you see it that it will really touch your spirit and make you get up and do something for the Lord. It sounds like she has gas. <laughs> <laughs> 
you're, I'm okay like with you're, hit, you're hitting the brown note or something uh, with that. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, let's ah, go into the definition of resurge. Or All right, so we, we, we're going to get a definition. Resurgence. Type. Resurge, an increase or revival after a period of little activity, popularity, or occurrence. It's time to resurge. <laughs> you better get on with it. Brian, you better be resurging this year, man. <laughs> man, man I, you know, <laughs> I, I like to reboot things. I'm, I'm not so I'm not so keen on resurging things. Right, right. Okay, all right. Because rebooting know. sometimes will fix it. Remember our computer, my computer. That's right. I got that's, fixed by rebooting. I didn't right. resurge it. You rebooted it. So rebooted are you, it. you're giving a counter word for 2022 of reboot? I think reboot could be a potential prophetic bingo word. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. Keep it in mind. It's time to get unstuck from where you were and stop all this little bit of activity and walk into the new thing God has for you. You are not supposed to sit here and be the same as you were last year. You're supposed to change. You're supposed to transform. <laughs> Getting a prophetic scolding again every time. Stop yelling at me! Okay, so when I was a kid, you know, my my, uh, my mom would tell me to clean my room, and guess what? There were times when I didn't, and she told me to do it, and then and she would come in, and uh, oh my goodness, I I would get it. I I would get like, you know, here I work, I am working night and day in order to put food on the table, and here, you know, I all I ask of you is that you clean your room, and do you do that? No, you know it. it <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I know that never happened to you, Brian. You well, know, but, I thought I had a good week last week, but now okay. I'm I'm kind of second guessing that. You know, right? Maybe I yeah. need to work harder. You're you're yeah. getting you're getting chewed out by the Holy Spirit through K Nash, man. You. So, all right. You. <laughs> all right, let's continue with our scolding. Let's take it like men, shall all we? Right. All right. All right. You're supposed to become that new image in Christ that he wants you to be, okay? Let go of just sitting there doing nothing. Take up your bed and walk. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Wow! I, my bed I is changed too it. heavy. <laughs> I changed my sheets recently. Does that count? <laughs> I, I got a California King mattress with a box spring underneath it. That's, uh, I, that's I can't even. Up, I'm gonna need help. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna need at least two to three people to move this. <laughs> that's, oh man. <laughs> Oh, don't even get me started on the, you know the bed mites. I mean the thing weighs twice as much as it did when we got it 20 years ago. You know so. <laughs> hey, it's every eight years, Chris. Come on. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're giving uh, it up. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Time to get going for the Lord Jesus. You are still anointed. You are still equipped. It doesn't matter what blows the devil threw at you in 2021. 2022 is your year of resurgence in the name of Jesus. I break infirmity <laughs> off your life in the name of Jesus. No, that thanks. I needed somebody to do that. Break off infirmity hey, from my life. Yeah. No. That, see, I, you didn't even know you were going to get like those special perks for coming on Prophecy Bingo. You know, I you didn't. just had infirmity broken I, off of you, uh, Brian. Uh, you know, so I, I can't wait. I, you know, I did have a small rash on my calf. So let's see, let's see what happens after this show is over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right on. L you know, you know right. little hydrocortisone will clear that right up. But you know, <laughs> yeah. Our yeah. Christian well, media is not responsible for any injuries sustained during the <laughs> filming or premiering of Prophecy Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> well, the attorneys double check hey, all yeah. of this. So, Disclaimer. Yeah. Yes. I break witchcraft off your life. Jesus, I feel that strongly. I break witchcraft off your life in the name of Jesus. I break python off your life in the name of Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> python. Does that, now, is that any, does that have anything to do with the sneaky squid? Not exactly. So just a little bit of a of a biblical note here. So when Paul is 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 in Greece and you got that that slave girl, it it has a spirit of divination. The the Greek there is that it's it's a spirit of Puthona, which means uh. that the girl had something to do with the Oracle of Delphi. That that's a, it's a phrase associated with the worship, at, you know, at the Oracle of Delphi. 
And and so what ends up happening is is that somebody who has never been to seminary, doesn't read Greek, doesn't understand the history of the New Testament like her, uh, you know, she <laughs> she sits there, oh, it's the spirit of Python. <laughs> No, it's not okay. quite right. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, it's almost as if context matters. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, wow. and historical context has something to say regarding the meaning of a text, too. So, <laughs> But what do I know? I actually had to pay to go to seminary. So, you know. <laughs> In the Jesus. I brought confusion off your life. I pray that. Th that clearly isn't going to work, lady. No. Um, <laughs> So you got to practice nope. what you preach there. So I'm just saying. You come into order as we mm -hmm. enter into 2022. Now I know depending on where you are, it already is 2022 or it's about to become 2022. But just for the sake of this video, welcome to 2022. This is not going to be the same. We were really in 2021 setting a foundation for what God was going to do in our life. And setting a foundation is messy. You have to lay cement. You have to dig holes. You have to test and make sure the foundation is firm. You have to just go into the ground and make sure the ground is actually going to work for you. And sometimes when you're going to the ground, you're going to get dirty. It's going to be a mess. But I'm telling you, you were laying a foundation. You were laying a foundation for what God was going to do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. starting to get some GERD here, you know, so, you know, uh, things, things are yeah. back and backing up. So all right. there's a yeah. particular yeah. hymn that comes to mind. It's like, what, what's what are the lyrics on Christ? Solid rock. I stand all yeah. other ground is sinking, is sinking sand. sand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so you, you, you know, so Brian, you are you're able to bust out some musical tunes and notes and then do some freestyle kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you, I, I hate to say it, you got some competition here. This is a, a New Year's <laughs> prophecy from Hank Kuhneman, who always, always has, you know, ha does it to music. So brace yourself for okay. what you're about let's, to experience. Here we go. Do this. Come on, I want you to begin to move your feet. You see, because as you move your feet, <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see his facial expressions, he literally looks like he's passing a kidney stone while he's prophesying. So. Oh. All right. <laughs> You're moving in congruency with the order of heaven and God's feet that is moving at this time along with the host. So God says, can you move with me? Can <laughs> I'm glad I have the closed <laughs> captioning on because uh, <laughs> if I put this through a grammar checker, do you think, what do you think would happen? You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's in, he's in sore need of Grammarly. Right. Yeah, which, you know, the, the annual cost of Grammarly is definitely affordable, especially if you're a non lucid ah. profit. It'll, it'll give you an air of lucidity, you know? And your feet become part of my feet as the body of Christ. Because my feet shall firmly be planted upon the earth's soil. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't feel like we're playing bingo anymore. I don't know what we're doing. I know. <laughs> I'm just it's so bad. It's so bad. It's, wow. I mean, it's beyond belief. There are no words. There are no words. It, uh, this is the, the the one word that comes to mind: blasphemous. That's what all of this is. Yeah. And by the way, I forgot to give my standard disclaimer because you know I know that there's charismatics other. Scripture says, "Don't despise prophecy." No real prophecies were despised here. There wasn't a single one that was real. Oh yeah. man. And therefore, it shall shake. Shaking, if you have shaking. shaking. Uh, yeah, hang on a second here. That's on my uh, card. Good. Oh, my. Uh, Somebody's making This has been a slog today. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> we started off so good. Yeah, yeah we, we had... did. I, I, by the way, I kept that one in the queue just in case. Because <laughs> it was so... It was such a good one, you know. He, he, we should go just go back yeah. for a refresher just to see what more gobbledygook he can throw our way. Yeah, I don't know. We got we got to endure a little bit more of this though. So, uh, here, 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 right. here. Watch the earth shake, says the Lord. 
Oh man, Bezel, it's been nice knowing you. I, I guess this means that you know, this is the year the San Andreas goes off, and you're in California, so I know, I know, I'm right, I'm right where well, I could see ocean front. You know, if if things go well for me, uh, I'm well, about, well, yeah. I'm yeah. about 16 miles away from the coast, so mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you never know when if there's a good shaking. If you're if it's a good shaking, you're now living in the 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 future equivalent of Santa Monica, right? You know, that's exactly right. All My right. property values will skyrocket. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> we, you know, I I, I got to tell the story. So you know, I I grew up in Southern California, raised my kids in Southern California, and as you know, there's uh, frequent shakings that take place in Southern California. It got to the point where if so, you know, it's it's in the middle of the night, the house starts shaking because we have a we have an earthquake going off. My wife always freaked out every time the earth moved. My wife was like in hysterics, and one time, <laughs> one time. She goes, Chris, wake up! There's an earthquake, and I and I sat there for a second. And I go, oh, it's no big deal. It's only a 6.0. And she goes, how do you know? How do you know? And I and so I, I turned on the television and flipped it over to Channel Four. We're watching NBC, and they said, yes. And we just got word from Caltech that a 6.1 earthquake has just hit the basin. And my wife hit me. She, how did you know that it was a six? That's good. That's good. Yeah. See, that's not being prophetic. That's being clairvoyant. No, it, it's it's just, it's purely muscle memory. You know, <laughs> you know, it's like you know, you kind of get to a point where you kind you can you don't even it's not even scientific. You just know the last one was a four. I had a I went through a seven point three, and then something a little less than seven point three. You, you kind of just work it out. Yeah. It's a six. You know. Yeah. So, it's yeah. called effective data interpolation. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, all right, let's keep going here. But it shall not just be the earth that shakes, but men shall shake. Governments shall shake. And God says those who know that they have done wrong shall shake. That means you're you're gonna start shaking any time now, sir. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Didn't, Todd, didn't Todd White experience a shaking just this yeah, last week? Yeah, yeah, Todd White sure did. Yeah. For this purpose, hell is shaking because they hear something that many, because of fear, the spirit something oh, wait, something something. 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 Yeah, well, hang on. That's yeah. on my card. Hang that on. is also on my card. All right. <sighs> We're making some progress here. I, I need it to be a little bit more focused angularly, you know. So. Yeah. All right. Hang on a second here. You, you guys are not going to like this. Hang on a second uh -oh. here. Um, I, I Hang on a second here. Let's see. Critical word. That's all, Cindy Jacobs. Here we go. Here, let's 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 tune in to oh, Ken Copeland. Oh, our buddy Ken. The, the, uh, no. See if you can make heads or tails of this of this beginning part here. This one's creepy. You cheater! Cheater! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I, I can I can translate gibberish, you know. Thank you. you know, uh, uh, the, there was I'm a part waiting. in there where he said that if you switch to Geico, you can save up to fifteen percent. <laughs> but after after that part, um, I, yeah, I definitely heard him talking about declaring yeah. and dimension. What do you think? Uh, I don't necessarily, <laughs> I don't necessarily agree. Okay, with now, that, I get it. <laughs> now I get it. Now I get how it happens. Care if I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because uh, I have the gift of interpreting gibberish, you know, yeah, so yeah, it's okay. a special it's a special pirate uh, authority that I have. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, Chris, real quick, you know, in uh -huh. your honor, I, uh, I chose to, to use my pirate glass today. I, okay. uh, I so. truly appreciate that, uh, that you rising to the occasion here. That, that just means I won't make you walk the plank anytime in the next five minutes. So, Persiate. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going, shall we? Oh, how, many, how many partners of the ministry do we have here tonight? The only people he allows in the building are the ones who give him a lot of money. <sighs> Man, there's, yep. there's like yep. so much money to be made in heresy, zero to be made in orthodoxy. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Yeah, all right, let's keep going. Glory to God. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, he's counting up the cash right now. Is it? <laughs> cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Ding, 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 ding. Maintenance on my plane is expensive. I'm so, yep. So blessed and in my spirit tonight. All afternoon. Well, not all afternoon, but the biggest part of it. And just the Lord just ministering to me and and and. But a king nice as they say. Did he say K Nash? Snay, snay, snay. It sounded like K Nash. I was like, it did. no, please. Yeah, he no. did say K Nash. Unfortunately, I don't think Would we can use back? that for a card, but I, he said Would you K go Nash. Back? Are you sure? Yeah, hang on. Well, well, here's the replay. And just the Lord just ministering to me. And, 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 but a K Nash, they say. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Unfortunately, he didn't give me the word I was looking for, which would be so. I don't uh, know. I, I, yeah, if he was going to say Cain Ash, then that, I mean, that's synonymous with Jezebel, isn't it? I'm, I'm just wondering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm. I, I, I'm gonna go with you on that one. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. All right. So yeah. I'm gonna. I'll take Jezebel Jez, on my card. Jezebel will work on that one. Okay. Yeah. But to such a commotion that I'll cliff it. I'm a filetio, la gal bel cling la gal bre pelu tulisti sushu keko kala sakla pama. Yeah, aside from the part where he said, please take me away right now to the room with the little uh, with the padded walls, he also t <laughs> talked about the importance of sewing. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you saw that one coming a mile yeah. away. Oh, yeah, it was pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> did, did they uh, warn you that I cheat? Did I? Uh, yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, so, Josh, I, I, I'm feeling the need for a minstrel here. You know. Um, uh, all right. I, what, and what? Don't be playing that brown note. You know. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> I, I think like a Hammond B3. Hammond B3 is. Yeah. And I, I, I don't do an Irish accent, so I, I, I got to figure out how to get the breath right here. You know, using. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm <laughs> feeling a dimension. <gasps> <laughs> Something to declare. Sow your seed now. <laughs> For the sneaky squid. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. I don't even have to do it in post. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's that come. Good. Yeah, that's it. You know, and by the way, I'm expecting good things from you when you finally get bingo. We got to work right. that out, though. Let's All right, let's it. let's keep going here, shall we? Bon grombo seco. <laughs> this is so stupid. It is. In 2022, <laughs> he wrote the word of the Lord on one of those little <laughs> yellow pads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Uh, this is a this is a, a good year, but it's it's strange year. It will be strange seem like to to some. Yeah, you know, maybe as strange as twenty twenty. COVID nineteen I blow <laughs> the wind of God on you. <laughs> it's over. You know, he's you know, <laughs> Oh, uh, he, yeah. He was very serious about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking in the office of the prophet, you know. So. Yes. He's that, also seriously the, wrong. Yeah. The, 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 that there are people who are sending large amounts of money to him to this day. Speaks about just how strong the strong delusion is that God sends at the, in the, in the end of the world, you know. Yeah. Just saying. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There are those in 2022 that will have lived out their lives on the earth. Mm -hmm. And there are those that have learned and, and because of their knowledge of faith and the knowledge of, the, of the, the exceeding great and precious promises of the word, and because they know these, and because they stood on these, they, and without 
All right, hang on a second here. Oh, hey, uh, I heard something about deep in there. Something. So, something so Brian, I, were you feeling any words there? That, yes. You know, just reach out. Reach out with your yes. feelings, Luke. Yes. You know, I I feel I feel that he was talking about mm -hmm. increase. Okay. Mm, and yes. increase in your potential. Okay. Yes. And also absolutely. a reversal of those things which hold you back. Okay, so an increase of potential and a reversal. Increase and reversal. Yeah, oh, increase. that looks good. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah oh, I, 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 good. I affirm you. I, I, I think you. we can clearly say that I can confirm this prophetic interpretation. Okay, okay. So, so what does that I'm, mean for I'm you? One, I'm one away. One, I'm away. one away, okay. All right, all right. One away. Oh, yes, I'm so glad. So glad that we can help you along these lines. Just Thank you. Mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Thanks, uh, no, hang on, hang on a second. No, n no, yeah, sir. Sickness and without disease. Now, this is where it gets weird. Listen to this. Alapondo la grambana, and without sickness and without disease, they will simply lay their body down and take off for glory. Praise God. For so he's saying in 2022, there's going to be people who said, you know what, that's it, I'm done. And they're just going to lay their body down without dying, without sickness and disease. They're just going to go, boop, then they're done and they're going to die. Well, wasn't that that, that cult, what was it, for the Hale Bop Comet? Oh, they yeah, they were the purple sneakers. With, yeah. With the sneakers? <laughs> I, I, right. think, I think it's very close to what he's talking about there. Right. So basically, any of you folks attending Kenneth Copeland's church there in Eagle, whatever, don't drink the Kool-Aid. That's right. Yeah. And also, you know, this might, I don't know, there sounds like there's some illegalities, or at least in regards to taxation from the IRS and such a scheme as this. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure to sign your entire estate over to Kenneth Copeland Ministries <laughs> and then lay your life down immediately. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. This is, sounds so that. weird. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, especially in the context of how many partners are here tonight. Yes. You know, and you get to ting, 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 ting. Yeah, okay. Well, we know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And the grace of God and the graciousness of his way of life and his goodness and his kindness and his mercy will be shown in places in 2022 that you would never dream that his mercy would show up. But... <laughs> Isn't doesn't God cause the sun to come up on the just and the unjust? Indeed. You know, I yes. quoted scripture again. I mean, that's not allowed. Uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, God's grace is kind of like all over the place. You know, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. I'm pretty sure, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. What do I know, though? I, I'm, I'm just a meanie poopy head, so. Let's keep going. My mercy shows up in the places where most people don't think it even there in the first place. But I am a merciful God. Notice how he's speaking in first person for God. Interesting. That's not, that's not creepy at all. I am a merciful God. I, I'm beginning to think he just is channeling himself, thinking yeah. he's a deity, you know. Yeah. And I had to get it. And there are those. Mm -hmm. Josh, what were you feeling for that? Yeah. That's, I don't know. That felt like covering. I don't know, that, something that, about, that, about a covering. That felt like a covering to you? All right. Yep. I, 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 yeah, I, I'm going to affirm your prophetic interpretation of that particular bit of gibberish. Does, how does that help you? That gave me a bingo. <laughs> ah, Whoa. Oh. <laughs> All right. So second bingo of the day. All right. So. <laughs> so All right, Josh. I can be my own minstrel. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> The Lord spoke to me about a reversal, and there was a relief of Jezebel. Wait a minute, Jezebel? No, that's not what's supposed to happen. We're stepping into something about Jezebel. <laughs> oh, I think I smell Jezebel's spirit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Didn't Nirvana sing about her? Oh, you know, it smells yeah. like Jezebel's spirit. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's wow. let's come okay. back to this. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. In 2019, 2020, 2021, there are those that became so stressed and so pressured with this 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 biological weapon that was created in the earth 
uh, this, this, this synthetic virus that was created to do what it's done and to upset the world. Uh, but I already knew that, saith the Lord. I already knew that. And there are those that were under such pressure and they just said, well, I, I just, I, I can't go any further. And, and, and so they just stepped out of their bodies and they're in my presence right now. <laughs> what am I As listening to? Choice, right. As if we have that opportunity or option to step out of our bodies. Oh, of course, uh, Jesse Duplantis can do that. Yeah, he can just step out of his body, go through the roof and go right to heaven. But that's right. not for everybody. It, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't this sound like some kind of form of suicide? Yes. Maybe they yes. Are, it's kind of a mashup you know. between suicide and astral projection. Right. That's not creepy at all. No. 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 That's that's that that. that <laughs> In fact, for sanity's Very. sake, I think I'd better go to glory of Zion. I don't know. It but. also sounded like he was uh, definitely talking about lab leak theory. <laughs> I just, oh, yeah, yeah. This is so bad. All wild. right, so this one's called The Hidden Mysteries Will Become Fresh Revelation. What? Okay. But the Lord would say that this is a time when I... Man, I need a stick like that. I'm calling you to come into... Maybe I'm kind of jealous. Dang it. Maybe yeah, I could I, use a pen here. I have a here. private back scratcher. There. <laughs> I do too, but it's over there. <laughs> a place you've never been before. Or even as it was with the Apostle Paul when he said, I was in that place. And he said, I saw and I heard things that I'm not even allowed to speak. I say, I'm catching you up into a place. For I say I am breaking through with fresh revelation. Breakthrough will count there. I say you will and see fresh. what. What was that? Fresh is also. Uh, a yeah, word. fresh. That counts. Yep. What you have never seen before. You will hear and understand what you have never understood before. God. Now, by the way, we uh, we had a guest on uh, Prophecy Bingo several months ago. And he's been to glory of Zion. They don't even have preaching time anymore. This this is the teaching time. Wow. Wow. This is wild stuff. I've never heard of this uh, place. <laughs> Where are they located? Yeah, they're we in are. Texas. They're in Texas. So we are we are yeah. so sorry. It's all too. happening in Texas. Yeah, just 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 go to gloryofzion.org and they, they they on the watch section they ha how to watch watch on website watch on GZI TV replays and then they have a whole prophecy center. Every time they have people get up and have these utterances, they collect them into the prophecy center section so that we don't lose these these precious words of God. <laughs> okay. Well, that comes in handy for fact checking later. <laughs> <laughs> fact checking? That that assumes that they're talking about anything that makes any sense. <laughs> so, okay. I can't I can't fact check a you know a macaroni and cheese, you know, like I don't I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keep going here. Okay. This is a time that I'm breaking you into a place so that the mysteries that were hidden in past will become fresh revelation to you and you shall know the will of the Lord. You shall be able to step into... All I know is that those women with bare feet, I'm just feeling like athletes' foot fungus is in their future. Uh, let's let's go back to something a little more sane, shall we? Okay, just... Yeah. I, 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 I need a prophetic uh, release here. I need more tongue speaking because I'm feeling it. I'm feeling you, it. You, okay, all right. Yeah, well, I, this, now that you're... I don't now think that this, you're, this guy won't you know, give it. Yeah, now that yeah. you're in the flow, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, now that it's fair game, you know, I mean, right. Shoot. Yeah, you, you understand how the cheating works. So. Exactly. Right, okay. God is watching over his word to ensure that it will perform all that it was intended to do. The number 20 prophetically means divine order, taking possession, waiting with expectancy. Are you expectant for 2022? <laughs> Numerology comes in yeah. so are you, handy. Are you oh, expecting? yeah, you can make it mean anything, man. That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's time to hope again. 
Over the last couple of years, God has released a divine reset in the earth, causing reset as a prophecy, being a reordering word. and a bringing of things into divine alignment. For oh, alignment. alignment. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good one. Yep, that's a good one. For such a time as this. Alignment, I have alignment. This divine reordering is releasing a changing of the guards in every facet of society and in the church. The changing of the guard is necessary. It is making way for the new era and new leadership. The number 22 prophetically represents light, revelation knowledge to unlock mysteries. Get ready to unlock some... Have you noticed that like none of these prophecies actually <laughs> sync with each other? Uh, that's true. That's true. Well, you reminds me of that song from Disneyland's um, what was it? Inner Journey to Inner Space. Oh and wow, that's that's an old one. Yeah, and it was like uh, miracles with molecules, and this is kind of <laughs> like prophecy with numerals. You know, <laughs> do you see? Do you, do you see the connection there? Oh, yeah, I, I, I definitely see it. Although I got to admit that anybody even remembering the journey to inner space, that's it. That's that's impressive. That's that impressive. was, like, that was the pavilion that was eventually turned into Star Tours, I believe. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and and you know it was always just it was so ridiculous. You know they had this this microscope thing, and you know they they had the little buggies that just turned. They became smaller and smaller and smaller. And yes. yeah, when I when I'll I was in high school, that was the makeout forever. ride. And never, yeah. and never. <laughs> That's right. Right next to the carousel of progress. You know. Yeah. That's right. That and the people mover actually moved through that pavilion yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Now, I promised a little bit more of Cindy Jacobs. Okay. So I've been having a hard time stomaching this. So when she released her prophetic word for 2022 at Trinity Church Cedar Hill, uh, where she's in attendance and, you know, <clears throat> she did some freestyle uh, prophesying, too. So we're just going to throw this into the mix. Please. Now, this is the, the word. The Lord said, didn't I call you to Puerto Rico? And the Lord says, I will open a door th oh, that no man can shut. And the Lord would say to you, you're going to see how I get you back into Puerto Rico and what I do for that, says the Lord. But the Lord says, ask me for the nations for your inheritance. Nations. That, I've got nations. Now, doesn't that count as a misappropriation of the of like scripture? Because aren't the nations given to Jesus? Yes. Yes. Oh, but hey, Jacob's I, all about you know, himself. full disclosure, this this actual um, this actual service, if you can call it that, is what I'm doing the video for Saturday on. So, there you go. Uh, OK, I need to I need to put that out there so that if I if I know of an inside information already, it's because I've already seen this. Right. OK, so it just seems like she misappropriated a, an actual prophecy that relates to Jesus and points it to this guy who's going to Puerto Rico. Yes. So, okay. And also what she's doing is using uh, Isaiah 22 with the okay. opening and shutting with the key of David. And she yes. weaves that in and out of the entire uh, talk that she does with her buddy. Well, it's her, it's her husband, Mike, who starts yeah. it off. Um, and it's just an incredible, incredible misuse of scripture. Um, never even comes close to talking about Jesus being the key of David and the keys of the kingdom. Nothing. Right. Okay, so my, my, my discernment radar going off and saying, wait a second, that applies to Jesus. You know, she, she apparently didn't see that connection. Okay, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. God didn't give her any kind of check and go, whoa, 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 whoa you're misusing the scripture here. Okay. Her I'm going to use you, and there's some connection even the Trinity has, and I'm going to use you, and I see there will be prayer teams sent into strategic areas, says the Lord. Uh, if you have the word strategy, that'll count. And the Lord says to you, Anthony, prophesy. <laughs> prophesy. Apparently do it right now. Drop and give me 20. <laughs> On <laughs> command. Come on, flannel man. Let's do it. Start start it, dude. Go, go. Come on. Come here. I have set you as a prophet. 
this this isn't cringy, awkward, weird. Oh, yeah. In the house of the Lord. And so, Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus for the word of the Is that a guy getting ready to catch him just in case? Yeah, probably. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And I thank you for the word of the Lord for the nations. And the Lord says, not only will Melissa finish her book, but I've got a book in you. And the Lord says, I... Is it stuck in the birth canal? I'm just releasing that. And Father, the anointing given to me through many authors, especially my mentor, Peter Wagner, I lay my hand oh, upon Lord. you. And come here, Melissa. And the Lord says, daughter, didn't I call you to miracles and signs and wonders? And the Lord says, this day you are receiving an anointing of signs and wonders in Jesus. Signs and wonders, oh, prophecy bingo. Oh, Going down. Name. Thank you, Lord. There Let's she goes. All right. <laughs> that ain't wow. the Holy Spirit. That's crazy. All right. Wow. So when she went on to the Sid Roth It's Supernatural program to talk about God is shouting these two words in 2022, finding those two words was really tough. But I did find this little infomercial. I thought this was Call now to get Cindy Jacobs' brand new and exclusive four-part audio CD set, 2022 and you. What's coming? <laughs> oh, and it even rhymes. That's good. Yeah, this, uh, that, that, just, yeah. this, this yeah. just screams focus group. Yeah. It includes a three part audio CD teaching on what's ahead for you, your family, and your world. Plus, a fourth audio CD on the word of the Lord for 2022 from Cindy's Global Prophetic Summit. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience. For only twenty nine dollars, wow. you can hear what God's wow. saying. That's a bargain. Uh, Yours for a donation of twenty nine dollars. Ship. You know, I feel really bad for the people who buy this stuff. You know, like ten years from now, you know, they're going to be dead, and their family's going to be picking through their like library and going, "What is this?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no! So Look, Martha, mom got and, into the heresy again. And, and I hate to say this, but I I don't even have a CD player at the moment. I. <laughs> <laughs> you have one in your grandson's bedroom. Oh, that's right. I do. I, I I have to go into my grandson's room, but I don't. I personally don't even. When was the last time I listened to a CD? They don't put them in cars anymore. No, I. Yeah, I just connect to my iPhone. You know. Think so, about right. the audience. The audience is boomers. Ah, yeah. yeah. That's, well, got it. Okay. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3773. The 2022 Word of the Lord was discerned at the Global Prophetic Summit with over 100 prophets attending. <laughs> oh, man. That's capacity. <laughs> uh. Wait, do you hear was part, who was part of it? Including Chuck Pierce. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> What word did they discern? Gobbledy gook? Lance Wallnow, John and Jolene Hamill, Troy Brewer, Todd White, <laughs> Bobby Connor, and so many more. So many more. So this many powerful more. word lays out what 2022 holds prophetically for you and your family. Now, when you when you were doing your research on this this uh, this event here that you're going to be doing a video on, was it just me or was it hard to actually find what exactly was the word of the Lord for 2022? No, it was it was just basically the opening and shutting of stuff of things. Right. <laughs> depending on what you were thinking of at the moment yeah uh, with, with some with some healing uh you know some things spattered here and there her her husband even talks about uh jesus asking him to come and play with him yeah which is, which i really i had a hard odd. time actually discerning what the actual word that they discerned was <laughs> but they did this this uh a critical word for 2022 prophetic dateline by uh, cindy and mike jacobs um, and, well, let's see if you can make any sense of this. Chuck Pierce. I really think we're headed into one of our more interesting years. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a year that we have to be fearful as we go forth. I think it's a year of uh, sorting through. Uh, in is Bill Hamming taking notes <laughs> on what Chuck Pierce is saying? <laughs> Let me get this down. Oh, this is good. Let me write this down, man. He ain't saying nothing, dude. Incredible harvest, but harvest is a, harvest a, bingo, is a, is a bingo word. In the midst of it, 
the war that goes with harvest. Now, uh, if you have warfare, uh, I okay. will give that to you. All right. Okay. Oh, this is just, okay. <laughs> and I really think that's the way we're going to have to look at the whole year ahead as we advance. I know uh, while I was there with you guys, the Lord gave me uh, several questions that I know he's asking all of us because, see, the year when we look at it from a Hebraic standpoint, it's about building. And remember, uh, he came down to see the first time we see the word visitation really is where the lord says us came down to visit to see what they were building in babylon you mean babel it, <laughs> that's right what oh, is he God. talking about and so i really believe uh the lord is looking at our building plans for the year ahead <laughs> and you have to get them approved yeah. from the Jerusalem City Council, you know, oh, it, it, and make sure you, you pull the right permits. What on earth? Uh, so what are you building this year, uh, Bezel? I'll tell you, I, this is beyond belief. It's beyond belief. Uh -huh. Yeah. I want to build a better burger is what I want to build. Okay. That's that is an I'll do that tonight goal. probably. Yeah, that 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 that's a, that's admirable. That's admirable. Okay. But you can't do any better than a double double animal style. So I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah. Southern California through and through. Let's keep going with this. How are we building? You. How are we adding sons and daughters to what we're doing? But also remember, when you think about Babylon, you are. Uh, it's Babel. Babylon is where they went into exile. Babel is where God visited and then confused their languages because they were disobeying. They were clumping rather than, you know, dispersing. So yep. uh, thrown to think about the whole issue was over communication. So I actually think the war is going to be over communication. What, what, what war? What war? <laughs> it's over communication, though. It's the culture war. Okay. Um, it is going to be a year of... Uh, the war is changing out there in the atmosphere. Never before atmosphere <laughs> that's a prophecy bingo word hang on a second yeah. here oh my goodness what is this man uh, even saying or have we had communication instantaneous like we have now and the systems we're dealing with so great war over communication as we move forward in the year ahead and Bill Hammond's writing all this down. Oh, wow. This is, this is some good stuff. This will preach. And uh, you have to know that the Lord is going to be looking at how we're communicating as we move forward. But he's also looking at how our identity is changing. Identity is identity. a bingo. I have That's that on good. my card. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think okay. identity is very key, and we are coming into a place of where he's summing things together for each one of us so that we really portray who we truly are in the coming year. Now, another thing is... I so, Brian, how Ooh. well are you at portraying who you really are? Yeah. <laughs> you know... Who who am I? Who am I? That's the question. <laughs> the you know, internet would like to know. Yes. If if we're really going to be serious about it for a second, who we are uh -huh. is baptized individuals. Yeah. We've died and risen with Christ. Yep. We're united to Him by grace alone through faith alone. Yep. That's who we are. Yeah, and over and again, Paul throughout the, his epistles talks about us who are in Christ, in Cristo. It's mm. all. It's, so our identity is in Christ. I don't know yes. what he's talking about. So, good, good answer, by the way. I think we have to be very careful of compromise because. <laughs> Too late, too late. <laughs> Just letting you speak is compromise. So the first thing I see the Lord doing is sorting out the remnant. Now that's us, that's all of us. 
There's going to be this in, this incredible sorting out of the. What I do not understand is why there's nobody sitting there going. He ain't saying nothing. The, the emperor is not wearing any clothes. This is stupid. Why are they saying that? They're getting paid by the emperor. <laughs> got their heads down. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Bill Hammond's taking notes. He's trying not to make eye contact with the camera. Exactly. <sighs> Uh, the remnant, and, and so Mike, that Mike Jacobs just looks absolutely confused. <laughs> and this fellow down here, he he looks annoyed, and I'm with him. You know, I'm totally with him. He can sort out the nations, and that brings me to one of the very key questions that I heard. In it, it's key question coming up here, Josh. Key prophetic question for 2022. Okay. I thought isn't nation one of our words? If it, if you have it, put it down. It probably is. Say, are you ready to go to war in spring? Well, that took me. Oh no, man! That means I have to do PT. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Better <sighs> muster. We got. We're going to war in spring. <laughs> Luckily, spring for us doesn't happen until about May, so we have time. <laughs> well, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah you, you guys in Southern California, spring is next week, but uh, know. you know, I for know. us, it, it'll be here. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you've been training. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> I'm I'm trying to decide what type of a life I'm going to have once they release the electromagnetic pulse, and nothing uh, works. There is no more communication. Right. It, the, the, war, the war over communication has been lost at that point. Doesn't matter anymore. Right. Talk to your, talk to your neighbors or it, it, it'll, it'll be as loud as you can shout. That's how far you're going to communicate. Right on. Yeah. I better get used to a horse and buggy again. So, OK. Right. Over to David and I mm -hmm. uh, and uh, David, it's one of the big mistakes he made. He wasn't ready to go to war in the spring. He was old and <laughs> and beginning the first twinges of retirement that comes along with decrepitude. I was only uh, two weeks away from retirement, gosh darn it. He, he no no biblical text says, you know, he wasn't ready to go to war. That that wasn't it, you know. <sighs> when kings go to war. And so I really see when it comes to spring, the nations are being uh, sort it through by the Lord. And there's going to be a lot of conflicts in the nation. But the Lord gave me this scripture this morning. He, he did? Don't we all already have that text, whatever it is? Mm -hmm. You know? Let's see if your Bible has this in it, Bezel. Let's, Surprises. Let's, let's just see here. The law will go out from Zion. And what precedes that is in Isaiah 2 is he says... So he's in Isaiah 2. Does your Bible have Isaiah 2 in it? It does. It does. Yeah, yeah, so does mine. Um, Funny enough. Funny and, enough. And, and oddly, it, it comes right after 1 um, and right before 3. <laughs> and, That's right. And the, and the Lord gave this to the church all the way back when Isaiah was alive. Mm -hmm. Who but, was an actual prophet, by the way. Yes, and never sounded anything like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know. Many are going to start drawing towards Zion. Now, that means that there's going to be a lot of drawing toward his people this year. And uh, we want to be faith-filled influencers. That's the way to say it while we're out there. Anywhere you go. <laughs> so we need to get on Instagram. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Any place you find yourself, restaurants, um, anywhere that you find yourself. So are, do you practice being an influencer while you're at a restaurant? Well, someone's got to take don't. a photograph of his meal. You, you don't? But, I don't. But Brian. I, I, I actually go to a restaurant to sit down and enjoy a meal, and I don't really uh, care about influencing anyone at the point. That's so uh, selfish that wrong? of you. Is that's that so wrong? selfish. I it's, Maybe I need to repent of that. Yeah, you know, because... Chuck Pierce, you know. <laughs> be I don't know. businesses. Be I, 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 okay, yeah. Faith filled. I may influence. have to. I may have to rethink this whole enterprise now. Yeah. Of going it, out to eat. Yeah, I, I may never go in public again. You know, it's too much responsibility. You know. So. Maybe I can start with larger tips. 
Well, there, yeah. Right? Right, yeah. I mean, wouldn't that speak volumes for the gospel? Or maybe just a maybe just one of those fake twenty dollar bills that has the four spiritual laws on the back. Don't do that. No, See, no, no. See, no, I'm, no. That I just, uh, that, <laughs> talk okay, about that's cruel out. and unusual. That's yeah, that's out there. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's well, keep congratulations. Because we're going to be drawn pirate. to this year. He's going to put a supernatural favor on us. Supernatural. Supernatural what? is a prophecy bingo word. What would you say? Right, to draw going. people it, toward right? us. And then he says, I'll judge between the nations. Now, I see, when I see war for the nations, I see this year becomes a sorting out of sheep and goat nations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened to every tribe, tongue, kindred, and nation being gathered I have, together? I have no idea. And and here's the issue is that um, in like – so for instance, I'm in the United States. You're in the United States. I could say that uh, overall there's probably more goats than there are sheep here in the United States. But what about the sheep that be here, you know? you know? What is the sheep and goat nations thing, you know? <laughs> I'm pretty sure all the nations are goats right now, you yes. know? Yes, yes. Uh, but see, this is what this is what the new apostolic reformation influenced people do. They yeah. personify nations as if they are individuals. Yeah, and, and well, listen, Michael Brown says that the NAR doesn't exist, man. Don't you understand? You're, you know... <laughs> You're a conspiracy theorist now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, private jets are It was bound to happen. Yeah. All right. Let's check in with Nisi, shall we? Uh, sure. Why not? It's Nisi, and welcome to this special New Year's edition of... Pro why did I pick so many ladies that yell at us? Why did I do this? What am I thinking? Prophetic fire. Oh. The Lord laid a very important word on my heart for 2022. And this word has just been bubbling up with such an urgency in my spirit that I don't want to hesitate. So let's jump. Wind. What'd you say? Tell me it's wind. <laughs> right in. I heard right. the Lord say that 2022 is going to be a year of glory, power, and change. Glory is a, a prophecy bingo mm. word. You don't yeah. have to be a prophet to recognize that the earth is in a state of transition. The Transition is a prophecy bingo word. Birthing pains. That Birthing is a prophecy bingo word. And Jesus spoke about <laughs> that would happen up until his return have already begun. And let me tell you, 2022 is going to be a pivotal year for many people who are watching me right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. Oh, really? <laughs> no. Really? No. I mean, <laughs> just... 2021 that was a pivotal year in my life 2020 yeah. pivotal you know who doesn't yeah. have you know, oh, this is annoying there are many of you who are watching me right now who will receive unprecedented news that will lead to major changes in your life <laughs> it's called it's called the future it's what it's called we don't know what's going to happen I'm sorry, holy, you holy. you have you have cancer. I'm sorry, but your your, your insurance is... claim was denied. I'm sorry, but the down payment on the house was rejected. <laughs> Who doesn't receive news every Ugh. this year? But before I go into that, I want to go into three major patterns from 2021 that the Lord highlighted to me that will actually emerge as major trends in the year ahead. Across the globe in 2021, we saw a power shift that came with great turmoil and upset. Americans witnessed an election that led to one of the first times in our history where we didn't have a peaceful transfer of power. Also in the United States, we witnessed as the longest war in our history ended in disaster. When America pulled out of Afghanistan, we watched as the Taliban took over. Also in America, we and saw- none of the prophets called it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which of the none prophets of saw that one coming? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they and they missed a great opportunity. They could even <laughs> sung it, you know, hey, Mr. Taliban. <laughs> Never mind. 
<laughs> that, yeah, they, they, sorry. Uh, yeah. Prophecy is always twenty twenty in hindsight. Yeah, okay. yeah. The what upset. Do? What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Of the stock market, as the bears and bulls of Wall Street went into an epic battle with the apes of Reddit, and in. <laughs> What did she just say? <laughs> She's talking about Wall Street apes. bets versus oh, like uh, the meme groups versus the uh, the, the apes edge funds. Of Reddit. I I wow. man, that is a great name for a band, the Apes of Reddit. Oh yeah, uh, I Dude. gotta keep that one. So <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll pull out my guitar and dust that thing off, and you and I can do a ZZ Top tribute band called the Apes of Reddit. That would be just. <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I like it. I mean, we, we, you know, we, oh man, we, we'd be all over Netflix and stuff, dude. You know, we yeah. talk about influencers, yeah. In Israel, yeah. we saw the transfer of power after 12 years of Netanyahu being prime minister. And of course, in the UK, we saw the death of Prince Philip, which I believe really marked a shifting and an ending of the era of the current monarchy. The her monarch's still alive. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth Just jumped in the is, gun a little there. Huh? Yeah, Elizabeth's still breathing. You know, um, wow, this is the point weird. that I'm getting at is the Lord has highlighted the pattern of this shift of power dynamics that has happened across the globe in a major way in 2021. And I believe that this is the beginning of a trend that we're going to see emerge in a major way in 2022. She's not saying anything. No. Her lips are moving, but she's not saying anything. Anything. She's not saying anything. anything. Yeah, but hey, then again, I, have you heard any of these prophets say anything today? Hey, yeah. guys, I have this terrible idea that more people are going to die in the future. No. Isn't, it, isn't it groundbreaking? Oh, yes. I feel a shaking. Yes. Uh, all right. So, Brian, so I, ju I just need to know what kind of assistance do you need here? I, I can assist you. I have the power of two I more have, words. Have one, I have one to go, and okay. it is uh, it's a power word. Yeah. Um, it, it has to do with... Uh, something that gets a jet engine going you have to a you have to use these things to actually spark the flame they're called igniters so you oh. ignite you yes ignite. You yeah ignite. in fact so so here, here's what we're gonna do anybody here who's watching prophecy bingo if you are subscribed to the channel you can have the word ignite and and if you hit if you ring the bell let's let's get get our second bonus word in yes. here then we will give you a flow oh yes yeah flow well, okay. there you go so, so you're telling are, me I, I get ignite yeah oh yeah you got it man Boom. you got it yeah I got, so i got I, bingo i'm expecting i'm I expecting some prophetic words from you here do you, do you need a minstrel let me get let me dig deep here <clears throat> okay all right <sighs> Breathe deep, the gathering gloom. Watch lights fade in every room. I declare, but it's not from the Lord, that Dogecoin will grow in its value to $3.33. Thus sayest the triple three. <laughs> Well no, done. No. I am. That is wow. That is one of the most impressive rookie prophecy bingo prophets <laughs> prophecies I've ever seen, sir. Thanks to Cindy Jacobs and the cryptocurrency movement on behalf <laughs> of Trinity or whoever it was. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us again, sir, how people can find your channel. What's the easiest way to do so? We'll put a link, by the way, down in the description. I but if they wanted to that. like type it in there, you know. Yep. You can go to just Bezel T3, Bezel like the watch Bezel. Mm -hmm. Easy to spell, B-E-Z-E-L. T as in tango, the numeral three. And bezel Tango channel. 
three. That's All right. it. That's, That's it. I kind of like that. The Tango three. I like that. The yeah, numeric it, alphabet. It, it kind of no, has that no aviation slouch. thing to it. You you're know? no slouch, Chris. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, come play Prophecy Bingo with us today. And it was a, it was an absolute pleasure. Look forward to maybe working with you again in the future. I'd love it if you'd have me. So thank you guys so much. I've had nothing but a great time with you both. Excellent. All right, let me let me sign off, and then we'll chat for just a couple minutes. So if you found this uh, episode to be entertaining, helpful, what, yeah, I'm not sure what to say when it comes to Prophecy Bingo. All the information on how you can share the video is down below in the description. And until next time, may God richly bless you in the grace and mercy won by Jesus Christ and his vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins. Amen. Amen.